Hello, my name is Marion Clark. This is the third in our series of seminars which offer an opportunity for dialogue. Exploring, challenging and critiquing historical and contemporary notions of mental health. In each seminar, an individual who has made a global contribution to the area of mental health will be invited to converse with an interdisciplinary audience, including service users and carers, educators, psychologists, psychiatrists, nurses, social workers and academics. In this third seminar, we are very pleased to welcome Dorothy Rowe. Dorothy is presenting us with the central question, why are comforting lies seen as being preferable to uncomfortable truths? A clinical psychologist herself, she asks why so many psychologists still use the language of medicine to talk about severe mental distress, bringing in questions of the complex interactions of genes and neurology, as well as issues around politics, war and economics. We are sure you will find this an interesting and stimulating seminar. Why do psychologists, many psychologists, still use the language of medicine to talk about severe mental distress? Well, I came to this country in 69 and saw what happened in psychiatric hospitals and saw that psychiatrists really didn't know what was wrong with these pe people because they never talked to them. Um, and, and the psychiatrist was busy diagnosing and deciding about pills, and I felt this was terribly wrong. And so I started talking about it and writing about it and pointing out why it was wrong. I had the idea then that we psychologists were on the side of truth and that we were going to banish all this medical nonsense out of the whole solid psychology out of mental health. Well, I was wrong. Um, many psychologists use the language of um, medicine all the time. They talk about symptoms. Well, physical illnesses have symptoms. Mental distress doesn't have symptoms. You have various manifestations of mental distress, but as they're not symptoms. Because symptom is something that is evidence of a disease process. Mental distress isn't a, a disease. We live in a world where terrible things happen to people. To be greatly distressed by what's happened to you isn't a disease. It's a normal human reaction. Back in the 1960s, a physiologist uh, toyed with the idea that there might have been a connection between depression and the level of serotonin in the brain. And he only toyed with it because within a few months he abandoned that idea. But in that time, it had got into the newspapers uh, in the States, in New York, and there were journalists saying cause of depression has been discovered. It's a chemical imbalance in the brain. Then the drug companies and the psychiatrists jumped on this. And for 30 more, more than 30 years, millions of people have been patient, have been told that they're depressed because They've got a chemical imbalance in the brain. That was never true, and it has, there has not been any scientific evidence to support it in any way at all. Three years ago, the Royal College of Psychiatrists removed all mention of chemical imbalance from their website. They should have done that 30 years ago. 